Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. With Uldor patches about to get released, we're gonna talk about PvE gear that you should be chasing for this phase of Red Classic. I will cover each slot separately with beast items and other options and I'll explain why I would pick that item instead of some with better eye level and some other stats. So without further ado, let's start with a head slot. When it comes to head slot, this one is Bis and it's dropped from Algal and Observer 25. And the other 25 option is surely the Concurse Head, which will give you ARP instead of hit rating. First thing to clarify before we start is the 4 set bonus for this tier. 2 set bonus gives us 10 more percent on surplus sting damage. And the 4 set bonus says the steady shot has a chance of increasing our attack power by 600 for 15 seconds. The bonus is very good, but there is mostly better gear for each of these slots. I'm not really sure if it's worth chasing the 4 set bonus. In this build, I will have 2 set bonus instead. So if you want to keep the stat synergy from whole gear until you get this one, other 10 man option for hit rating is Circle of True Sight from 10 man Iron Console. Other solution for Concurse Head is the Valorous Score Stalker Headpiece from 10 man Mimiron. Also, there are some other 10 man options without hit rating like Mimiron Flight Goggles with haste from 10 man Mimiron Hard Mode. This neck is Pendulum of Infinity from General Wazak's 25 man hard mode. Second option is neck from Wender, which costs 19 emblems of conquest. Other 10 man solution is Seed of Budding Carnage, 10 man Freya Hod. But I wouldn't suggest wearing this neck because it gives you hit rating and you will need to drop 60 critical strike and 50 haste rating. And some of attack power. When it comes to shoulders, this one are from 10 man flame leviathan hard mode. All other 25 man and 10 man shoulders are without critical strike stat and all of them give you hit rating which is not good. We want clear hunter stats and shoulders and these are perfect. For example, if you want concurrent shoulders to build up set bonus, you will lose 63 critical strike, which is huge stat for hunter and almost 50 armor penetration. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. And next one is back slot. This one is also a beast slot that comes from 10 man general Vezax hard mode. Why is this beast? Well, because it has clear stats without hit rating. And on top of that, you have two offensive sockets that could be filled with agility. Other solution is also from a 10 man holder. And there are small differences between these two. One gives you armor penetration and other gives you haste, but it doesn't have any sockets. So that's literally minus up to 32 agility, which is not that small diff. On other side, there are 252 item level back on 25 man, but as you can see, it has hit rating and it lacks critical and one socket when you compare it to the beast one. When it comes to picking chest, there are also two options. Embrace of Gladiator from 25 man Thorium on hard mode is the chest with best stats, no doubt. But it is the leather item, and I'm sure the hunter won't have priority over this item when it drops in raid over rogues and ferals. And also, you lose like 600 or 700 armor for this. Other one that I'm using as priority in this build is Conquer that gives hit rating. So, why am I picking chest to be the set bonus, but not shoulder or hands? Well, because it has critical stat, unlike shoulders or hands, but we get hit rating on all of these. This one drops from 25 man holder. If you're looking for 10 man chest, it is the light version of Conquer that drops from Yogg Saron. This chest gives you set bonus and on top of that, it has two sockets, unlike two other chests on 10 man rating. So let's move on next slot, which is wrist. On this slot, we have two different options and both are from 10 man raids. First one that I personally would like to get is Frostbound Chain Braces, which is male wrist and it comes from 10 man holder. On the other side, we have wrist with higher item level, but it's a leather one, and it comes from 10 man deconstruction hard mode. Difference between these two are that the leather has 22 more agility and possibility of adding one more agility gem. 
and 30 armor penetration, but it lacks 38 critical strike and 300 armor. On one side, Leather One is outscaling male with offensive stats, but if you're playing survival, do you really need that armor penetration in exchange of 40 critical? Well, it's up to you to choose. Both are great in my opinion. So let's talk about weapons now. Of course, you will be using two-handed weapon for attack power and chunk. There are seven different two-handed weapons and four of them have hit rating, which we can avoid. So basically, there are three weapons that are worth mentioning as a beast. Let's start with two almost similar weapons. One is Storm Rune Edge that draws from 25 man the Iron Council, and the other one is Spear of Dam for 25 man General Wei's Axe. There is almost no difference between these two as you can see. And the third one is Dream Binder. Although this one has 252 item level, I think that is slightly worse weapon than these two mentioned. Reason behind that is significant drop of critical strike, but you have two bonus sockets and 90 haste rating. You can replace that crit with two pure crit gems, but you will still prioritize haste above crit that way, which is just no for a hunter. All of these three are from 25 man raids, and there is one side option from 10 man general ways axe on hard mode, but you will need to combine some other gear slots since it has 64 hit rating. With that being said, let's move on hands. For this slot, you're gonna chase gloves of steady hand. You should be prioritized next to enchantment shamans if this glove drops because it's a male item, so it's not made for rogues and ferals. These have hit rating, critical, and two sockets. Other option is Concur Hands, but if you pick these, you will make a change in your legs because you don't need three parts of Concur gear. Difference between these hands and first one is about 40 agility with another gem and 60 critical strike, which are some serious offensive numbers. When we talk about legs, I will mention the two combinations you can do with these two slots. For now, let's stick with first gloves that drop from 25 man deconstruction hard mode. Some easier options would be 28 emblem gloves with critical strike and 10 man Elgala and the Observer with some higher agility stats but lack of critical strike. Our next slot is Waste. Well, best belt for me comes from Leatherworking. It has critical, haste and attack power and two sockets which is very important. And there is one more Leatherworking Leather Waste option that has slightly better agility stats, but it gives you hit rating instead of haste. If you don't mind leveling leatherworking, two options would be Soul of Devouring Kinch from 10 man Yogg Saron, Hard Mode, and Waste Guard of the Creator from 25 man Mimiron. I hate to see this expertise stat since it's completely useless for Hunter, but these ways have some insane agility when you compare it to leatherworking one. It has 46 more agility, which is 90 attack power and some critical, but you lose haste and intellect. Other one is more balanced and it has 36 more agility than leatherworking one, but it has one socket less, which means 16 agility less. I would personally wear second waist, but it comes from 25 man in comparison to 10 man expertise one. Other solutions are not worth mentioning since they have hit rating and lack critical stat. Okay, we got legs here. There is no doubt that leg guards of Cunning Deception are the best legs with high stats in game. Attack, critical, armor penetration and 3 sockets. But that way, we're not gonna active the 2 set bonus and we're gonna have a lot of leather items. For someone who want to play PvP like me, it does affect their gameplay. However, if you pick Concur legs, Gloves of Static Hands stays there. If you want to pick these awesome legs, then you have to switch hands to Concur. What happens in this change is that you lose about 0.60% critical chance and around 40 attack power, but you gain 5.3% of armor penetration. It's up to you to make a decision. If you're a marksmanship hunter, maybe this second legs would be better choice. But also important thing to keep in mind is that the second legs are leather, so you are not priority to loot them if they drop. 
thing about boots is pretty straightforward because there are 25 and 10 man boots you should be aiming for. This one drops from Iron Council 25 hard mode and other one drops from 10 man Mimron hard mode. Also I almost forgot to mention if we have leather working you can go with instant upgrade for foot pads of silence which are almost the same as our best choice Reeves of Swift Vengeance. We don't need any hit rating anymore, so rings will be clear stack. First one is Bran, first one is Bran Signet Ring, and second one is the Loop of the Agile. Bran Signet Ring is a quest from 25 man Uldar, and the Loop of the Jaw drops from 10 man the Iron Council Hard Mode. Also, second ring can be changed with Bran Sealing Ring, which comes from 10 man quest, and there is another option with Metallic Loop of Sufferer which drops from 25 man General Vazax. On our trinket slots, once again we have a Dark Moon card greatness, because it's a simply great. For anyone who doesn't know how to get this one, you can get it through inscription or buy it on auction house. Other trinket is Dark Matter, 10 man Algaland Observer. What to say here, everyone knows how critical is important for Hunter. When you use Rapid Fire, other trinket procs, and on top of that you add another 600 critical, you can imagine the opening DPS. Other 10 man trinkets are Mjolnir the Runestone and Pirate Infuser, although I wouldn't recommend second one because it gives so much hit rating and no other passive stats, so you will need to change your gear for that one. First one is great choice for Marksmanship Hunter, but if you survival stick with attack power and agility procs. And the last part is a ranged weapon. This 25 man ranged weapon is a crossbow that draws from Elgal and the Observer. And if we talk about a light version or alternative ranged weapon that comes from 10 man is a magnetized projectile emitter from deconstruction hard mode. So let's now see enchants and gems and summon everything up. This list is more or less the beast one. But in reality getting half of these items any soon will be a huge task. So I don't really see a point making another half beast or more realistic gear list because every damn slot can drop from any boss and you can pretty much change gear every run and equip items that suit you the best in that moment. If I say something is a second beast and it has like 60 hit rating and you are for example already over capped on 10% hit rating, of course you won't farm that second beast, you will look for another item without that stat. What is specific for second phase is that you just have to play one raid to farm whole gear. And other fun thing is that almost every boss can drop something that you need like I said earlier. Bad thing is that everyone is farming just Uldar and even if item drops chance of getting these leather items we mentioned earlier are just too low. So I'm not seeing anyone is getting this anytime soon. Just maybe who has a guild and makes its own runs with for example rogues or ferals that already have these problematic items. I really pray for everyone who will try to pug around, loading myself. So thanks everyone for watching and see you soon.